Okay, now I'm ready to work on Mr. Chippers, our red northern cardinal. And I've painted Miss Chippers. She is, her feathers are mixtures of my mud, which is two parts ultramarine blue, plus one part alizarin crimson. I've added cadmium orange into that and just a tiny bit of cadmium yellow medium. And then for the lighter mixtures, there's more white and so those are those mixes were all used. I do have a few mixes of my ultramarine plus white right in here. To, and that blue just makes her feel rounder. Just blue colors go back, cool colors go back. So and the warmer colors on her chest here come forward. So that helps give her shape. Now we're going to start on chippers. This is cadmium red deep. Be nice, just real nice deep red. And yesterday, I in my previous session, I washed him in with mixes of alizarin crimson plus liquid and alizarin crimson plus ultramarine blue plus liquid. And he's the wash is dry now, so I can paint over this and not pull up any of that wash. He just gets little pin feathers here on the on his shoulder. Then this I'm using this is a mixture of my ultramarine blue plus liquid and that gives me a nice dark little tips of his wings here. Now I'm using a bright brush. You can see this has a square edge but it makes it really nice. I can just turn it sideways and make these nice little feathery in strokes on his, his feathers. Now this is a mixture of alizarin crimson plus cadmium red light. That just gives me, gets a few little streaks of the brighter red in on the, on his wing there. This is even my pure cadmium red. Now I'm going to do the same thing on his tail, the base of his tail. He's not quite that dark. These are beautiful birds and I'm, we're so blessed. We have a pair that comes to our bird feeder outside the kitchen window and I just, so many times I walk into the kitchen and there's Mr. and Mr. Chippers feeding and last spring it was so fun because one day I walked out there and Mr. and Ms. Chippers were there and Mr. Chippers kept flying, getting the seed and flying down. And when I realized I looked down there was a little young cardinal down there that he was, he was feeding. So that was really a special treat. I had never gotten to see that before so that was just a real fun gift from God to, to just walk out there and have that little surprise. Now the sun's hitting his chest here so this is pure cadmium red light. I kind of let it feather into the darker cadmium red deep here. I'm going to go to a little bit smaller brush now for his head and pull out my mall stick. This hooks over the top of my easel and I can just brace my hand on here to steady my hand to paint the finer detail. So this is I've got this blocked in and even come in with some a smaller brush, but this I guess. I work from my largest brushes down to where I can't get any more of the detail that I want and then I, I move to a smaller brush. Okay, so now I'm going to move to that smaller brush. Now this is a different brush. This is called a filbert and it has an oval shaped tip. And the majority of the brushes I use are the square tipped bright brushes, but occasionally I'll use the filberts. It's a little bit of light hitting here. 
just right in there and on top of his head. And this is my cadmium red light. This brush is a round and it comes to a nice point. So that, that makes it easy to. This is I use for the detail. Come back here. And his beak is. This is cadmium orange plus cadmium red light. It's a nice deep orange. And I'm going to bring some of my cadmium red deep in there just to make that shadow. Now for the top of it, for the ridge of his beak, the leaking edge, this is cadmium orange plus white, and this is a this is called a fine liner brush. This gives me a nice line. I can highlight that top edge of his beak. Back, make that a little bit lighter. And I just brace on the edge of my easel here. Have a little dark where the beak separates. On the back of that black side, I'm going to use some ultramarine blue plus white just to kind of help round that back there. And then you see a little bit of the red on this other side. I let those feathers, since it's winter, those feathers kind of fluff out to help give them some insulation. I'm going to mix a little bit of my cadmium red light plus some white just to give me a little bit lighter shade. Do a little, few little highlights here. I like the bleeding edge of his crest. And just his eyebrow. And his forehead. His head some shape. I love the distinctive little chirp that these guys have. I, I know they're in the yard, even if I can't see them, I can hear them. I just did the chirp, 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 chip, chip, chip. Just, that's why Jack always used to call Mr. and Ms. Chippers. Whenever, wherever we were, it was Mr. and Ms. Chippers. And so they're still, to me, Mr. and Ms. Chippers. They were his favorites. I just get a smile in my heart every time I see them. Now this is ivory black. Now let's see if I can get his eye in there. Big. Let me come back in. Now I can come back in with my black and make that just a little bit smaller. There we go. Yeah. So there's Mr. Chippers. 
I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please visit my blog. I show the entire step-by-step -step process of this painting and others that I do. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my video. And you can subscribe to my blog. You can subscribe to my YouTube videos. Please always feel free to ask questions in the comment sections. I'll answer them. It may take me a couple of days, but I will we'll answer them. And you just have a wonderful, wonderful day, and happy painting.